I will give Monday a payable of 5 million if he can read a balance sheet on live television. Emmanuel Odigie says, hey, oh boy, they don't do Odigie. they don't do a payable of now they have come and they give him a challenge now. If he can read uh, a balance sheet on open television house, live TV show, they will give you five million. That is what uh, or the game Manuel the game is saying now. This is a challenge to Pueblo. Oh my God! You know, if you if you fail to go to school, there's a limit to which you can rise. There's a limit you can go, and at a point your your uneducated life will become a barrier for you. That is it. A chieftain of the All Progressive Congress and member of the Edo State Integrity Group, Emmanuel Odige, has stated that the governorship candidate of the APC for the forthcoming gubernatorial election, Monday Pueblo, cannot read a balance sheet. Can you imagine? This is an APC personal, I'm sure. This means that APC is divided. So what kind of bad market is it that Oshomole is trying to sell to the people of Edo State? If other APC members are already protesting the emergence of a Pueblo as their candidate, this is bad. Emmanuel Odegier made this statement during an interview with a journalist on Arise TV. During the interview, Emmanuel Odegier said, I will give Monday Pueblo 5 million naira if he can read a balance sheet on a live TV. Oh boy. So if he can read a balance sheet uh, live television in Benin, I will give him the 5 million to add to his campaign. We cannot allow mediocre in a do state. Exactly. Exactly. So remember that despite being a member of the APC in a do state, Emmanuel Odegui has constantly maintained that Monde Pueblo is the least qualified person to run for the advice for the office of governor in a do state. He said that Monde Pueblo is the least qualified person out of the 29 aspirants who were screened by the APC during the primary election. Can you imagine? So they had 29 people that they actually screened for the governorship uh, uh, job as aspirants before the primaries. Opebolo emerged. And he, may, he probably emerged because of the rigging activities too and bribery in the, within the party. Now they are saying that he is the least qualified person to for governorship office. And now that is the person Shomole and Shaibu want to sell to uh, do people and to Nigeria. You know, go work. So now that he has been challenged, that if he's able to read the balance sheet on a live TV show, that he will give him, Emmanuel Odegui said he will give him 5 million naira. For this challenge to be so open and public, then the guy is truly an illiterate. No, not somebody to hold around. Quite unfortunate for him. Okay? And I know that people will react to what Emmanuel Odegui has just said. Because I don't know how stupid away in Nigeria. This is how Tinubu ran away from media and today we are worse for it. Does any sane person even support APC? Does anyone ever support someone who cannot talk to us his plan in the public? Abi? So if APC wins in Edo and Ondo, I swear God himself will completely hands off from Nigeria affair. God himself will know Nigerians are beyond redemption. A do and undo election should be used to punish APC for bringing sadness, darkness, wickedness to Nigeria. Exactly. I don't say Mr. Emmanuel Adige is a member of the PDP. He should stop fooling himself. Who told you? He said he's APC member. I he's a member of PDP. He, because he's in PD, APC now, he should not say the truth again, Abi. If he say the truth, then he's a PDP. You don't know. Emmanuel Odegier is a bad loser, saboteur, hater, and a mischief maker. I will advise you to go and hug, can you imagine, hug powerful transformer. Is that what you have to say? The reason you are not on the same pedestal with Senator Pueblo, Pueblo can't condescend to your level. Can you imagine? Ha, but, ha, is it that Pueblo cannot condescend to his level or Pueblo cannot rise to his level? That is, the Senator does not make him the best. It's not. Reading and analyzing a balance sheet in a national TV is the same thing. Go and buy sense, or better go back and learn English properly. Ogatinubu, 
can't tell Nigerians the secondary school he attended. So APC is known for that. Bagam. It is a strategy. They want PT votes. Uh, so Emmanuel Degay can see how foolish he is, can imagine. Do they read the balance sheet? How many times have Nigerian business gurus come up on television set to read their industrial endeavors balance sheet? Emmanuel Degay has since bared his fangs as being a contaminated mole in the APC. It is better that the party, party Araki has chosen to treat him like the leprous outcast that is can you imagine can you imagine what what they're saying going to school is not only what we need before being qualified to be a governor but being able to do what people want even with your o level result you are qualified okay so you should know one thing is not all about going to school it's all about giving a good service to your people we have seen Professor Dr. Lawyers engage in what? Engage at the end, they did not deliver. But the issue is, the, we are quite understand, but you cannot take care to the place of education. Because being a governor, you are representing your state within and you are representing your state outside. So you should be able to appear clean both in and outside. That is it. So... Yes, we know that one thing is to go to school, another thing is to have the willpower to do the right thing because we even have a lot of graduates now in Nigerian politics that are most evil. But the truth is that you still cannot take out the place of education. That's one. Two, you cannot just uh, expect to miraculously become governor. When you are not campaigning, you cannot engage the populace, the electorate, to tell them exactly what you have for them. How are you going to convince them? Because you are in a game of convincing. You have to convince someone that you are the right person for the job. And you have to convince him beyond reasonable doubt before he can see reason to follow you. That is it. You can put yourself in that position now. Somebody is selling himself to you and it's not giving you reason why he is the best or why he is what he is. And you are following the person. You must be most miserable. That is it. You must be most miserable for doing that. So this world goes around, comes around. And the same thing we are saying, if a Pueblo cannot come out to the public to tell the people exactly what he has for them, then he should forget it. Because the same way Buhari in, 19, in 2015 refused to go for debate. And if he was he attended, it was a Shimba Joy he suddenly makes that was answering questions for him, which was very embarrassing. Now, after his eight years, we can see the extent he dropped Nigeria to because of illiteracy and the lack of education and exposure. Tinubu is coming in. He tactically avoided all presidential debates home and abroad. Okay? And right now, look at what we are getting. Look at his economic decisions. Look at everything he's saying and doing. He has plunged Nigeria into economic chaos and even political chaos right now. So that is it. Uh, if Emmanuel Digue is trying to challenge uh, Pueblo, or Pueblo should rise up to that challenge if he is going to be the governor of the people. So thank you for listening and then let's have your comments.